Right, you guys got another video here for you this is a laptop repair as you can see this is a sony vio and it's stuck on the sony vio logo screen when you boot up here there is no booting into windows it just gets stuck here and uh, there's no error lights here and uh, i thought this would make a good video but it turns out to be a really simple fix so i do apologize for that but if you've got a laptop like this and uh, it's having issues like this one then you may want to try this out now the touchpad I don't think was working here so they were using a mouse and uh, they give me the mouse and the laptop to test so I did my tests and a bit of troubleshooting I'll just quickly power this on here now I normally like to remove uh, anything that's plugged into the laptop and remove uh, the battery and stuff like that and sometimes that can uh, cause an issue so what I did here looked at the error lights here there was no error lights or LED lights showing up here there was just no activity from the laptop at all and I have seen this error before and it's been related to motherboard but it's also been related to other issues now this error could be many different things uh, so it's not just going to be this simple yours could be much more sinister and a lot more difficult to repair than this one so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to power this down and uh, remove the mouse and remove uh, the battery and then what I'm going to do here is uh, power this back on so I'm going to flip it back over and this is a nice tidy little laptop uh, i5 so I'm going to just power this on and as you'll see a presto it starts to boot so it just goes to show you <laughs> how simple some of these fixes can be now this was due to um, a faulty mouse believe it or not the person was using a mouse and uh, the mouse uh, went bad and uh, it was stopping the uh, laptop from booting up now they don't use the touchpad and I'll plug the mouse back in here just to show you here I already tested the battery the battery was fine so it wasn't the battery now sometimes the battery could be bad uh, but the battery was fine so I'll power this down and then power back on and put the mouse back in and this is probably the most simplest fix you'll ever see for a laptop there we go not booting at all it never ceases to amaze me how uh, different things happen with laptops and computers you think you've seen it all and then you see silly things like this and uh, it just makes you wonder really sometimes but if you do the basics um, then you should uh, be able to uh, fix a lot of your own computer sometimes but you can see this is a cheap ass mouse it's called a lab tech and it's probably old because I remember seeing these many 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 years ago so this is a very old mouse and it's probably bit the dust somehow and uh, caused the problem now I did plug in the battery and test the battery and the battery was fine so I'm just going to power this on one more time here now I was hoping that this was going to be a little bit more interesting uh, to repair because of the issue I thought it'd be a little bit more difficult but it just goes to show you that you need to first determine whether it's a hardware issue or whether it's a software issue now sometimes it could be Windows based and it's quick and easy to sort of resolve and uh, if it's an hardware issue then it could be something you're externally plugging in uh, to that and that is why I like to take uh, away uh, the, the same bits that that person is using so I get a general idea of what's going on with the laptop or desktop uh, when you're repairing it now as you can see here uh, you may need to do a lot more troubleshooting ie testing the hard drive and also testing the operating system to make sure the operating system is okay and it's not corrupted now I do know that they were updating at the time and uh, it never finished the update so it could be a case that also that they were updating and never give it time to update or the mouse let go and of course it went to reboot and of course wouldn't boot up anymore and it just was bad luck and you can see here it's now starting to update now we've removed the mouse and I'll speed this process up uh, but basically yeah you've got to give it plenty of time and this is another thing that people do they're not patient enough and they shut things down when it's doing an update and of course this can cause massive corruption on the system so you just got to give it plenty of time to finish its task okay otherwise you're going to run into issues now there was other issues with this laptop there was viruses and also a hundred percent hard uh, drive 
issue which could be related to malware and stuff like that but that may be another video anyway i'm going to wrap this one up you'll have to troubleshoot yours in a different way just find out whether it's hardware or software anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos